You know what you're getting when you listen to the real little show. But without further ado, I have my special guest, Cam Jones. This is the first time he's on the real little show. Normally, if you watch in the huddle, my other sports show, he's on um a friend of the show. So I'm glad to have him on the real little show for today. Cam Jones, how's it going, my hey. brother? Hey, man, I'm good, bro. I'm blessed to be here. Just want to say, man, as always, bro, like talking sports with you, bro, it's 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 never a dull moment, bro. You know, it's it's always good vibe, energy. And, you know, I can't wait to see what we have to talk today, man. So, ladies and gentlemen, get your popcorns, get your drinks ready, because we're about we're about to be in a good one today. Get your get your popcorn ready. I know it's hot outside. I'm not a forecaster, but I stepped outside today and it's pretty damn hot. So what you want to do is go to the refrigerator, get you some ice. You don't got to overdo it with the ice because you're not going to drink all the ice and you're going to end up racing it. We don't need we don't need to be racing stuff. So get you a little ice, get you a little couple ice cubes, get you a nice cold drink, a nice soda, get you a little snack. Tostitos is my way to go. You know what I'm saying? But if you like something else, get that and sit back, relax, because we got some great topics. For you today on the show but before we do i want everybody to check out my it's good to gamble video igtg6 that just dropped last night and so far from what i'm hearing the reviews are great and listen i don't gotta say too much about it it is what it is check that video out you will not be disappointed at all you will be on the edge of your seat throughout the whole video not at all ladies and gentlemen it's, it's worth it it's worth every bit of it i'm telling you this right now appreciate it but anyway, man, we might as well start off with our first topic. Dealing with the Lakers here. Even after clinching the number one seed, should the Lakers be worried? To be honest with you, the Lakers, if they want to see that Portland Trailblazers team right now, this current Portland Trailblazers team right now, ooh, they are in, they are in for a rude awakening right now. Because that team right there alone, they've been on fire, man. Last night, Damian Litter dropped 45 points, 11 threes, 12 assists. Like, whoa. Listen, this is not the normal NBA season. As far as I'm concerned, um, the first seed is the equivalent to eight seed right now because there's no home court. So anybody could win. So I don't want to hear about the oh, they clinch the number one seed. That does not matter right now. And in fact, the Lakers may have a hard time getting to that finals because they, they most likely going to go up against the Trailblazers, who's the hottest, one of the hottest teams entering the bubble right now. Then they may have to go to Rockets the second round. And then you're talking about possibly the Clippers. So I don't know what's easy about that. And I know a lot of people got hyped when the Lakers beat the Clippers. But listen, the Lakers, um, the Clippers were shorthanded. It took LeBron James a perfect defensive effort from LeBron James to barely squeak out that game with a two-point victory, okay? You think LeBron James is going to be guarding Kawhi like that and, and Paul George like that in the Western Conference Finals after having to guard Damian Lillard and all them guys in the Western Conference get leading up to that? It's not going to happen. They're going to run out of gas defensively. And that's the Lakers' problem on top of that. Defensively, they struggle um, to guard the perimeter, the shooters. And listen, if you're the Lakers, man, you do not want to see the Trailblazers right now. Damian Litter, we all know what he can do. He just dropped 45. But it's not only him now. It's not only him and CJ McCollum. You got Carmelo Anthony who's hitting clutch shots and actually defending something that he never did. You couldn't pay, you couldn't pay him to do play defense, literally. You couldn't pay him to play defense before. He's actually stepping it up a little bit defensively and actually getting rebounds and, and you know, just affecting the game in other ways, whereas he was only a scorer who didn't know how to adapt to this new generation of NBA. Now he seemed, he seemed like he learned how to adapt to it a little bit. You also got Gary Chen Jr., you know, who I didn't know who this brother was like that until this pandemic. So you got all them guys right there. The Lakers should be absolutely worried. And um, another problem, too, with this Lakers team, LeBron and Anthony Davis playing too much minutes, bro. Like, you know, I understand it. it's a bubble, you know. You know, every team trying to secure, you know, their spots respectfully. But at the same time, too, man, you know, you got to rest your body for playoff time. Because, sure, you know, LeBron, I've seen LeBron play 48 plus minutes when he was in Cleveland his, you know, his past two seasons, his last two seasons in Cleveland. And at this point, LeBron not young no more, ladies and gentlemen. LeBron is 35 years of age. And, it's, it, and, and I say it's not the same like he was when he was, you know, 23, 24, 25 years of age. So right now, if you ask me, this Lakers team, they need to slow it down a bit. LeBron and Davis need to play less minutes for for the remainder of the regular season and, you know, get ready for playoff. 
And you know what's crazy? It's going to have to be Anthony Davis that's just going to have to step it up. Like, from, from Anthony Davis, when I look at Anthony Davis for the first three quarters, he's probably the best player on your floor for the first three quarters. Mismatch, nobody can really guard him like that. I mean, he's going to be a, a mismatch issue for a whole lot of teams. However, when it comes to the fourth quarter, I'm not liking what I'm seeing from Anthony Davis. I don't see that same dog that I've seen for three quarters. And if they want to have any shot of winning the championship, they're going to need Anthony Davis to do what Anthony Davis does during three quarters. They need him to show up in the fourth quarter, all right? And LeBron James is going to have Kyrie Irving to hit a big shot. It's going to have to be Anthony Davis because we all know LeBron James, even though he's capable of driving to the basket and getting to the free throw line, he doesn't do that most of the time. He likes to dish it out to his teammates. So, listen, the Lakers, they're going to have to do something. The Trailblazers, let's say if they get into the playoffs, I can very well see that series being a, a hard-fought six-game series. I can see it going to six. six. You say I, six. I can see being nice. Six. You're being nice. I say seven, bro. Because I really feel like this Portland team is hungry, bro. Like uh -huh. I said, I said they would definitely want to give um this this Lakers team the work. You get what I mean? So trust me, I see this um Trailblazers team, everyone contributing from Leonard to McCullum to Mello to Nurkits, even Whiteside, Zach Collins. I, I'm exactly. And that's yeah. that's one thing that I would say about this Trailblazers team and how they stack up. Um, they may stack up better than the Rockets stack up against the Lakers when you think about it simply because they have size. And Rockets, right. they go with the small board. And obviously, you got Anthony Davis and LeBron James. That's going to be rebound city. They're going to eat them on the boards. But with right. the Trailblazers, they can actually rebound. They rebound well. They know how to shoot. It's not Damian Litter only. They got guys that can shoot threes. So they match yeah. up well. The only reason why I say a long fourth six-game series is simply because I don't know who can guard um, LeBron James on that team. LeBron James is going to continue to go to the basket. And all depends if LeBron James put his head down and actually commit to going to the basket. And I can Correct. see that being a mismatch because we all know Anthony Davis. You remember the Pelicans beat the Chill Blazers a couple years ago when um, the Pelicans were the sixth seed and the Blazers were the third seed. And Anthony Correct. Davis, we saw how effective he was on the board. So I could see it being a mismatch. But the Chill Blazers remember that like I do. And they want revenge from that because they lost to the Warriors. Um, last year in the Western Conference Finals. They remember that. Or was yeah. it the Western Conference or the second round? It was one of those. It was the second round. Yeah, second, second round. round. They remember that. They lost to Anthony Davis before. So listen, you're getting the Hungry Chill Blazers team. And you know what? We we penciling in like we it's official the Chill Blazers is going to be. It, it may not be, but I think it is. You know what I'm saying? Because the Grizzlies right now, bro, they losing. They have been losing. All right? They, they packed them up. Okay? Just packed them up. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Up, honestly. And then the Pelicans, the way how they playing, I don't see the Pelicans making it at all. The way how they tamper with resign on minutes, I don't understand it. Listen, I'm tired of that. I'm sick of seeing stuff like that. Listen, you had a whole hiatus. All right. Zion is well rested. All right. He's probably more well rested than I am. He can be on the court. All right. I don't know why they don't take the pacifier out this brother mouth and let him play. I don't understand that. So you can pack and, up the Pelicans too. And what's crazy too, Zion want to play. And not Zion telling management like, okay, no, I, I, like I want to rest. No, he really wants to play. And he even said it himself. He's like, he's real frustrated to the fact that they're restricting his minutes. And these minutes, these minutes that he could have been playing, it could have prevailed the Pelicans to win more games or like score more points. Who knows? And they you know what I mean? definitely made that play on um, playing game if he was playing. 